Hampshire Memorial Hospital is proud to announce the newest in mammography testing equipment. The Hologic Selenia Digital Mammography System is the latest in breast screening equipment. This state-of-the-art technology is on site at Hampshire Memorial Hospital. Women getting that all-important annual mammogram can have it done here locally in Romney, West Virginia. This high-resolution system delivers incredibly sharp images in a matter of seconds. So why travel many miles away? Come to Hampshire Memorial for your annual mammogram, where the best in service and technology is here for you. My name is Lynn Hausnick. I live in Yellow Spring, West Virginia. I'm here in my the basement studio of my home. I've been doing pottery for about 25 years seriously. I first got interested in it when I was in college and took a class. I enjoy the feel of the clay. Um, I like making things with clay because you can form them in so many different ways. I especially like making functional uh, objects that you can use in your home. Today I'm going to make a bowl out of out of clay. The clay I use is stoneware clay, which I buy from a pottery supply place, either in Baltimore or in Virginia. Um, the first thing you do is you have to wedge the clay, which is to mix it up and you kind of press against it. Uh, it's something like uh, kneading bread. And the idea is to mix the clay and also to get rid of the air bubbles. And then you press it down hard on, on the wheel head. And then you get the wheel going slowly and pad hard so it's well attached. After that you get your the, the surface of the clay wet so it's kind of the water kind of acts like a lubricant. And then you want to press in on it and center it. Centering is the process where you make it totally um, symmetrical on the wheel, whereas right now it's a little bit uneven. I need to keep pressing it first in, then down until it's totally even. Rest your finger there and find the center and you're going to make a hole in the middle with your thumb. Put a little water in there and then we're going to make the hole wider, pressing sideways. Once that step is done, you're going to start to pull up the walls. Press on the outside with your finger and on the inside with your other finger and kind of squeeze it and pull it up. Smooth the edge. Add a little water to make it slippery on the surface and then repeat that. Pushing from the inside and the outside, pulling it up. I'm going to make a split rim on this one. So before I get it pulled up too far, I'm going to take a tool, oops, make sure it's nice and smooth, and then cut the rim. And I'm going to continue pulling it upward. point I'm going to take a rib, a bowl rib, and press outward. And make sure the inside is nice and even. Basically I'm going for a nice smooth curve on the inside of the bowl. Once I've got it basically the way I like it, I'm going to remove any extra water from the inside. Take a wooden stick and remove some of the extra clay on the bottom. And then I'm going to just 
just kind of pinch it and twist it. Yeah, evenly, I'm going to do this at evenly separated spots and that'll make a more decorative rim. Use this wire, it's called the cutting wire, and I just run it underneath the pot, between the pot and the bat, so later on it'll separate. But I won't try to pick up the bowl at this point, I'll just pick up the whole bat and then set it aside to uh, dry to the next stage. After a piece of pottery is totally dried and ready to fire, we put it into the electric kiln, which I have here. Um, open. It's fired with these electric coils. You put the pottery in the bottom. We have posts that hold up a kiln shelf. So after you fill the bottom layer, you can put a kiln shelf on it, put more pottery, and more um, posts and have another layer of pottery until you fill up the kiln. And then you fire it for about 11 hours until it reaches a temperature of 1800 degrees. After the piece of pottery is finished best firing, you have to let it cool, cool slowly. But then you have a piece of pottery that looks something like this. At which stage you would then glaze it and then refire it to a temperature of cone 5, which is about 2100 degrees. Um, I have the two electric kilns in my basement. I also have a gas kiln in my shed and a spot where I can do pit firing in my yard. Um, I like to try different types of firing because it's interesting to see the different effects you have from those different firings. This is exa an example that's similar to the pot I just made. Um, it's made out of my red clay and turquoise glaze. You can also have a ladle for your bowls, which I made on the wheel and then added a handle. Another example of my pottery is a teapot. It's a little more complicated and that has all the different parts, the bottom, the, the uh, lid and the spout and the handle all which have to go together to make a finished pot. I also did a little bit of decorating on that one. Another piece is this pitcher which is um, made with a hand building technique rather than with the wheel where you roll out a piece of a slab of clay and then form it into the shape you want. I like to make a lot of things for outside in the yard or in the garden. Here's an example of a bird house. This one is a bird feeder. You lift the top to fill it with seed and then the birds can sit on the rim as they eat. Uh, I also make some planters, uh, bird baths, uh, hummingbird feeders. I make pottery as a part of my income. Um, I also teach pottery classes. My pottery is available at Lost River Store and at Anderson's Corner and at the, the museum shop at the Museum of the Shenandoah Valley in Winchester. I also occasionally sell out of my home if you give me a call beforehand and uh, let me know you're interested.